Hello and welcome to week 29 of this 52 week series for the Web Pro on what every web administrator needs to know to be successful in this space. My name is Scott Forsyth and today I want to dig into some tricks and some more details regarding IS's share config. And so we're in a mini series. This is the fourth part of kind of a sub sub part of our year's worth of videos. And this is to do with web farms. And we want to be able to have multiple nodes for scalability or availability. If a node fails, the site keeps working or as a site scales, you're able to add more nodes to it and they continue to work. And so this is what we're covering here over a course of a few weeks. So what I want to do is cover further on the share config. So just to recap, last week we set up the share configuration so the two nodes are completely in sync with each other in terms of the IS configuration. We make a change on one and it's immediately available on the other node. Now, I'm assuming that you've watched that or are already familiar with IS config. So otherwise today's lesson may not be as useful because I'm kind of digging in a little bit deeper. And what I want to show is just some things to be aware of and a couple tricks that really help with a more advanced administration with the shared config. So the first thing I want to show is to first just to recap the configuration I have is I'm on my node 1 or the DC just in my test environment here. And so we have share configuration. We're set up on a local path and we're using DFS to keep the two nodes in sync. And this is enabled here. So what we have, this is the folder where the content is currently running from. Or by content, I mean the application host config and administration.config. And so what we'll do here is let's navigate to it. And inetpub is share config. And it's running from here. Now, this config key we need one time only. Now I can keep it because if I, as long as I remember what the password is, I can use this to join other computers. But it's really not needed for day to day. It's, it's never needed for day to day type information. So I'm going to delete it just to prove that we really don't need it. Administration.config, well we covered this in previous lessons as to what they are. And application host config is our configuration is available in here. So for example, let's go here and just show you that Contoso is the name of the site and let's just call this Contoso2. We'll save it, we'll go to the sites and refresh. Notice Contoso2. So you can see it's using this folder. But now here's where it gets a bit confusing. Let's go to the default location and Windows System32 inetpub config and now notice you still have these files administration and application host config and so this gets really confusing because sometimes you're not sure which one in fact by default if you were to grab a new server as a new administrator uh, not knowing that the share config is set up you may start to make some changes or back up this folder and realizing hey your backups to this folder don't work and in fact watch that in fact I haven't tested recently but I believe it's still the case is the app command so if I go to System32, inet. Okay, so if I do app command and I'm going to add backup test, I believe, but don't take my word on it unless I test this better, that this is. At, well, you know what? Let's let's test it. Let's do a quick little side thing here. I'll probably do some fast forwarding and editing, but let's actually check in here. And so we're going to go to backup, and we see the backup that was just made, so test, and now if we do notepad application host dot config contoso2, yeah, okay, so see there's no contoso2, it's just contoso, so what we see here is the backup command, this is a bug, and it's kind of an important one to be aware of, is the app command add backup does not backup, it doesn't honor shared configuration, that's kind of a big oversight. And it, so you want to make sure you don't trust app command add backup in this situation. Okay, so actually these files are not used. Now let me stop for a second. I learned something since last week. If you watched last week's video, I mentioned that you don't need to restart IS or IS manager after you do share configuration. Actually, that's a mistake. Um, the application, or sorry, administration.config continues to be used until you do an IS reset. So until you do an IS reset, you're going to run into an issue there. Um, whereas if you delete this file right now, it could potentially mess up IS. So make sure the IS reset is done after you sync up there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these so that future administrators don't get confused and also the encryption key backup. We don't need that as well. And so now you can see this looks a, makes a lot more sense. Now here is what is essential is your redirection.config and you can see here this is basically what is added when you add that entry in the GUI in IS Manager. So you can see it's set to enabled is, is true and the path is this. So if you want to turn it off we can actually do false and save. We're going to go back here so now we go to share configuration and notice that it's not enabled. So we were manually able to take it out of rotation likewise we're manually able to bring it back into rotation. Now let me tell you why this is so important and I'll refresh here and I guess I need to click outside and back into here and now notice how it's enabled. Now where this is really useful because let's say we do it manually. Now I'm going to uncheck this and apply. It gives us this nice option to says do you want to copy this, what I just did manually copy this from here back into the config folder. So we're going to say yes, let's go for it. So we want the latest will now be on the local machine. And it says it's done and it says we should restart IS and the server. Let's believe it this time. Let's close this. Do an IS reset. And then we know for sure it's going to be using both application host config and administration.config from the new location. Administration.config required the IS reset. Okay, so we went into IS now, and we'll go to the share configuration. Let's now add it back. Now watch. If we do our path, and if you noticed before, I had uh, actually deleted the encryption information. So it says the encryption key was not found. So it says the encryption key was not found. And actually, this really gives you another option that you can have is if you delete that encryption key then you don't have to enter the password each time. You know what? This is a trick. I had done this manually from Notepad and realized this might even be cleaner. So you want to continue. Let's say yes. And so it gives us the same thing and it says it wants to restart it. And everything's been applied. Well you know what? I like this a lot better. So I kind of ad-libbing here a little bit on what I was going to be covering. But look what happened. I was, I've showed you two things here. You can do it manually by editing redirection.config and you can also go into the share config and if the encryption key information has been deleted you don't have to remember that password anymore. And so the only time that key is needed is when you first set up a server for the first time. It adds the machine key to that particular node. So it's a once only situation. So after that delete this and every time you add it back again it gives you a warning but it doesn't make you have to type that password in, which is a hassle, because you have to dig in you know, your password list or your password program and find out where that information is. So this is helpful for adding and removing to the shared configuration. Yeah, so just to recap, that's really what I wanted to cover today, is if you want to manually add and remove these nodes, understanding this redirection config and the encryption key, and that it's not needed to join the servers up again. That's why sometimes I just do this directly in, in Notepad. I take it off and don't. But you know what? I like that a lot better. Let me just, I'm going to do this one more time. Let's recap. So if we're going to go to IS Manager, I made sure the encryption key does not exist in the shared location. And notice we have the information here, uh, the site. So we go to Share Configuration. We can turn this off, allow this nice wizard to copy it back to the local machine. Okay, so it's done. We do whatever information that we need to do, and now when we're ready to add it back, we say enable, we specify the path, and now we hit apply, and it says the encryption key is not here. Do you want to continue? And I'm going to say yes, and it says everything's been backed up, and it says restart, and so we should do what it says. There we go, and, and here we have it. So this, to me, is a lot easier than having to maintain those passwords. And, that, and I'll cover this actually next week. We're going to talk about having to do a staggered install. And we'll be able to see this again uh, in action. And so I hope you found this useful. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a great week.